And um, can you tell us the involvement, how you got involved or how you started? Um, well, I, Marky Prandle <coughs> was getting a hard time in Wrexham, so I painted his, I knew Marky, so I painted his portrait from his mugshot. Uh, and then I put it onto Facebook and Dee Davis from Wrexham Homeless asked me to volunteer. Uh, so I went there and I got to meet the people that, that are just a bundle of rags in the doorway and I got to see their faces and I thought, well, I can paint some of these and let other people see what they like because it was all please and thank you with them. And they were generally nice people. Uh, and I carried on volunteering, I carried on meeting the lads. Um, and it's, it's culminated in, a, in a, uh, an exhibition that we had in the summer in the Twig Gallery which was uh, about 80 portraits, I think, of people. And this one that we're having today, which is highlighting their voices, which is what they want to say. It's what they sat down and we did four workshops with them, asked them questions, uh, and some of the answers that we got back were very poignant, um, to say the least. Uh, we let them draw their own paintings, we give them photographs, we give them mirrors to do self-portraits from. We sat and we asked them questions. Uh, what matters to you? What would you like to see? What do you think you're good at? Uh, and it was surprising some of the answers that we got back and were very good and some of the people wouldn't stop talking. That No, they were very animated. So we thought we'd struck a vein there and this is the result of it really. Uh, we asked them to write down what they thought on pieces of cardboard because we thought that would be realistic because a lot of them do sleep on the card but they hadn't just come in for something to eat for a warm and to, to go back out there again uh, somebody had asked them a question they asked them a question that maybe other people hadn't asked them or maybe it elicited memories that they thought they'd forgotten